Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, today guys we will take a look at the Great British Pound because uh, if you remember we have postponed a bit the discussion of the Great British Pound since it hasn't reached uh, the resistance around 55.50 area on the previous week and we said well uh, unfortunately we haven't got the brand body sell on the weekly chart on the previous week but maybe it will reach this level on the current week and if this will happen we will return back to discussion of the Great British Pound. Since our yesterday analysis on the New Zealand dollar is working and right now it stands according to our uh, yesterday's discussion so it doesn't need any update right now we will take a look at the Great British Pound and prepare the update on the situation because although we uh, haven't got the pure brand butter sell as the Judd Napoli describes in his book uh, but uh, because market hasn't reached the resistance level within the three weeks above the three by three, so I will show you the weekly chart, Great British Pound. So you can see the first close above the three by three, second and third, and uh, according to the book, uh, on the pure setup market should reach on the third session above the three by three moving average, the FIB resistance. But it, this hasn't happened, and we said, well, yes, maybe we, we do not have the pure brand by the sell. But from the market mechanics, this trade should work because thrust is in place, the previous, previous bearish momentum is still in place, and if market will reach uh, the resistance on the fourth straight upward session, but not on the third, that will not change the market mechanics and the bearish trade still could start and probably will start. That's why as the market mechanics stands the same and it's still uh, valid, I think that we will be able to trade this uh, setup on the weekly time frame chart and probably this should be a nice, nice trade. That in fact the response on the very strong support there is yearly pivot support one. It's a bit uh, yearly pivot support one and the fifth support on the monthly chart so that market shows nice bounce up. Here in fact we, we wait when the market will reach the 55.50 resistance and here uh, our primary task right now is watching for sell and reversal patterns that we could get on the 4 hour time frame chart, on the daily chart that could probably become the, could become the reason of reversal down. The target of this, the minimum target of this pattern will be somewhere around 52 area, the 618 support of the whole backward action. It's not a not small move, about the 300 pips. So let's keep watching. Uh, especially for the possible reversal patterns uh, that could appear here within the current week. So on the daily time frame chart uh, you see that market finally has passed through uh, strong resistance that was the 1618 target of this A, B, C bottom patterns 1618 accompanied by a daily overbought and take a look monthly period resistance when we said this resistance really strong uh, and market could uh, stand here for, for some time but probably it should pass through it because you can see this retracement down is very small. Usually when the market meets strong resistance it shows the more valuable retracement but here retracement was very really small and that just proves how market strong is. And you can see market has passed through it and now stands on the march right to the 55.50 weekly resistance. Daily overbought stands at 55.80 uh, approximately so it doesn't prevent market from the possible reaching of the weekly resistance but still it creates additional resistance around this weekly level uh, because in fact as you can see the weekly FIB resistance will be accompanied with the daily overbought. On the 4 hour time frame chart guys right now we see only two patterns that could trigger the possible reversal in an area of 55.50 area. First pattern is this a bit uh, steep butterfly sell pattern that's now is developing and um, this market has shown very small retracement at the appearing of the right wing uh, and this really fast acceleration to the 127 but probably market could continue move to the 5570 is the 1618 extension of butterfly. 
And the second patron that we have here is this A, B, C bottom patron. That also has the destination point approximately at 55, uh, 65, 55, uh, 70 area. So that two patrons um, could become the triggering ones for possible reversal. And I think that, as you can see, uh, existence of these two patrons, uh, weekly resistance, daily overbought, probably this should be enough for triggering the retracement down on the weekly chart on the Great British Pound. So, anyway, uh, setup right, right now stands in progress. Uh, we just need to be patient a little and wait when the market will reach this area. And then we will think about the taking the short position uh, because the potential of this trade is very nice and the setup is rather clear. It has the nice patrons and uh, it really could be a uh, nice opportunity for trading on the current and the current situation. So New Zealand dollar good British pound so right, right now they are more uh, most uh, clear uh, currencies that provide the interesting and clear setups. So let's see what will happen.